Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. Today I'm going to be adding some devices to my Home Assistant installation. So let's get into it. So today I'm going to be adding in some new devices to Home Assistant and in particular these are going to be the Toyo Smart Life based uh, devices, so things, you know, uh, Wi-Fi bulbs and plugs and things like that. Uh, quite an interesting process to go through and, um, you know, it's kind of something you'll probably have to do if you've got anything that's a bit of a cloud-based uh, device. So um, what I'm going to go through is this step-by-step -step process for you and explain a couple of the issues that I actually encountered um, partway through the process and what I did to fix those problems. So as you can see on my Home Assistant uh, server at the moment, the main overview page, very little there at the moment. There's no kind of devices really listed here, nothing like my bulbs or my plugs or anything like that. So if I go into configuration and then onto devices and services, uh, you'll see I've got four tabs at the top here of the screen. So I've got uh, integrations, I've got devices, entities and areas. So I'll just give a little bit of a rundown of what these basically are. So integrations, consider that kind of like the framework of being able to um, actually, you know, um, help you talk to a particular device via Home Assistant. Basically what it says on the tin, it's an integration. Devices, those are obviously your uh, smart devices, whether that's a plug, um, you know, a weather station or a bulb, whatever, you know, that is one of your devices. Now the entities, I think if you look at that as kind of like being the characteristics of those devices, things like properties, so you know if it's a temperature sensor, for example, then you know you might have the different um, readings that you could have off of that temperature sensor. And areas uh, kind of you know think of that of where all your devices are going to be located. So you know, on, on my install at the moment, there's just a three basic areas there. But, you know, if you're having this set up in your home, obviously you would create lots more areas for where your devices are actually going to be located. So on the integrations overview page, you can see here some of these uh, integrations, these tiles have got little cloud symbol on it, which effectively means, you know, these, these integrations have a cloud account attached to them. So, you know, if you take, for example, the Toya Smart Life, integration then you know if you've already got the smart life app installed on your mobile device you're probably well aware you've got to create an account to actually access and control your devices via the mobile app and and it's the same here with uh with home assistant now there is uh, a way to um, actually have these integrations without the cloud uh service in between um, that's not going to be part of this video i'll talk about that as I go along through my journey with Home Assistant. Um, but for now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna um, you know, start to set up the, the Toya integration. So in the bottom right-hand corner of each of these tiles is three little dots. And if you click on that, then you know, you'll see things like um, links to the Home Assistant uh, documentation for that uh, particular integration. We're gonna go through that process now with the Toya uh, integration and basically it pops up a little uh, window on the screen and you've got to fill in some basic details. Now, uh, some of this you may well already have if you've got the, um, the app installed on your mobile device. Um, the rest of it you probably haven't got. So you're gonna need to create um, an, an IoT account on the uh, Toya website. This is completely free of charge. I think there's a big caveat behind this as well, is that, you know, Toya have supported this for quite a while so far. Um, but, you know, at any point in the future, and, and, you know, this is a huge caveat, any point in the future, you know, they could stop allowing you access to that or even charge you access to that if, if they wanted to. However, it is completely free at the moment and, you know, it's available for everybody to use. So, you know, you need to create yourself an account. It's a relative, relatively simple process. Just fill in your, um, you know, your various details and wait for the email that comes through. And I will actually put the link for that in the description down below. But once you're in, you just, you'll get a pop-up window 
uh, you know, saying is it an uh, individual or organization, choose individual. And, uh, you know, an another window I'll open with some details, just close that. But well, basically you'll get this big fancy um, desktop uh, website where you can go and um, look at various aspects of uh, the, the cloud services that, that Toya go and provide, um, but you're really only interested in one particular area. So on the left hand side of the screen, if you click on cloud and then development and then create cloud project, now that will just pop up a new window and you, you just got to fill in some details here. Now you're probably thinking, you know, what, what is all this to do? You know, why am I creating a project? Well, basically what you are trying to do here is to create a way for Home Assistant to be able to talk to uh, effectively what you have gone and set up previously via the Smart Life applications that you may have had installed on your mobile device so this is the the integration part in the in the middle of all of that that means that home assistant doesn't actually need to try and talk to your actual app installation so there's a couple of really important options to get correct here and that is the development and the data center location so development should be smart home and the uh, data center location should be where your uh, account has been created now, uh, there's lots of options here, so make sure you get the correct one. Uh, when you've done that, it'll go on, continue on through the wizard. And just at the very bottom on the left-hand side, you need to uh, an, a, an effectively enable the device status notification option. So that goes over to the right-hand side. So that will give Home Assistant the ability to uh, know details about the, uh, the state of your devices that you've got set up in your um, Toya account. So next you need to link your Smart Life app um, through to your Toya uh, IoT account. So you just need to scan a QR code that's displayed on the um, your web browser and uh, in the application itself there is like a little uh, icon, little button that you press to go and scan the QR code. There's a little screenshot here where it is in my Smart Life app if you don't know where that is. Um, when you've done that, then under the All Devices tab in your browser, uh, there should be all your devices. And if you haven't got anything there, like I haven't, then it's probably because your data center is incorrect. So when I originally set up my project, I chose Western Europe. Uh, the next one probably to try, given I'm in the UK, is Central Europe. So I just need to go back in, edit the project, and choose Central Europe as the data center, Tr go through the whole process again of just relinking everything. And if that is successful, then as I say, under the All Devices tab, you'll see all of your devices suddenly show up. So go back into Home Assistant and continue the setup process for the Toya integration. So set your location correct, that should correspond with what you've got in your app. And then you need to be putting in two things that you need to get from that IoT portal website, which is the access ID and the secret ID. They're just on the overview page. You just paste those in there. And then the last two sets of credentials are your um, login credentials for your Toya Smart Life app. So you just pop those in there. Now, when I did this, I got a permission deny error. And if you go off onto the uh, home assistant website you know it will actually show you uh, what the meaning is of, of all the various areas that you could get from this this point in um, so this one is kind of you know probably username password problem you know, there's a couple of the other things there but they're unlikely to be that um, now I, I tried various things obviously re-entering credentials uh, and, and it just didn't work for me I went on to the forum the home assistant forum and well you know there's pages and pages and pages of people with similar problems would seem that after a certain version, people were saying you know, of, uh, of Home Assistant, you know, this started not working for them. Um, you know, various other comments about some changes that Toya had gone and made themselves. Uh, but right at the very, very bottom of the thread in the forum was uh, something was that, that was actually working for people. And that was to reset the password in your, the Smart Life app. So, um, that's what I did. I changed the password, got the, the whole uh, notification come through, put in the new password in Home Assistant, finished off the setup, and would you believe it, it actually then just went through. And as you can see there, 
nice little success dialogue with all the uh, devices that it has effectively picked up from that account in the cloud. So I can set the various areas for these devices and then um, they are now fully integrated into Home Assistant. And if I go to my devices tab, everything's listed there. So if I go to, for example, the office mood light and click on that, then I can get some further information about it. So if I go to the entities tab and, and select the office mood light there, then I can change the icon of how it's going to show up in Home Assistant. Uh, I can change the name of it, uh, various other properties as well, whether it's enabled and things like that. So. Um, basically, you know, leave that as is. It's up, they've all been assigned to an area. And when I go back to the overview page, as you can see, there are my lights uh, that have been picked up because obviously I've got a, a, um, a section here on the overview page for lights and, and they've all been detected there. As you can see some of them are switched on and I can just toggle uh, the particular light on and off via Home Assistant. So there you go guys, that is my setup of my initial devices onto my Home Assistant installation. Yes, lots of toy devices there, that's what as the majority of the smart devices um, I've had on my network, lots of Wi-Fi based devices there. But I think a good one to kind of like get going and get those running on the Home Assistant installation. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, you know, what did you think of this video? Uh, is there uh, something else you would like to add to this, you know, help some of the other users out who might be uh, trying to get these things set up um, you know but if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button and if you are not a subscriber to the channel then hit the subscribe button for more content like this and certainly the next episode in this series but as always guys thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye for now